Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to use a Rabbit MQ with Go to create a very simple work queue system. We have already seen a video to establish connection with Rabbit MQ. In this video, we will be exploring a little bit more. So, in this, we need to understand a basic concept while working. There is a concept of producer and consumer. Producer is someone who creates a new message. Consumers are the one who consumes them. In our example, when a file upload happens, the HTTP handler produces a message for our worker to consume. The HTTP handler is the producer and the background workers are the consumer. And we will have an exchange and queue. Exchange receives message from producer and delivers them to queue. So we have consumer.go and producer.go. So let's start by initiating our go mode. You can use your GitHub account if you have. Okay. Run queue. If you have seen my previous video, we have already done this. Post name, new rabbit, new uh, name. We can give anything you want. We can say first new slash rabbit one p port we can give 6273 6273 rabbit mq 3 slash management there you can have go get github dot com slash ready way slash am amq okay now let's start with consume so we are starting with consumer so in that we will start with error handling function Error, comma message string. If error not equals to or pattern. Now let's start setting up connection for Rabbit MQ. PQ dot dial over dot config dot a m a m q p connect connection url okay and see handle funk handle error comma can say cannot connect okay and we can say therefore not close dot channel channel comma error dot channel we should always aim to limit the number of connections. Cannot create MQ. Different MQ. Start talking to the rabbit MQ. And we need to tell the server about the queue. Channel dot queue. Declare. Add comma true. Command L handle error and declare Q. error equals to Q channel one comma zero comma false handle error could not config Q this message channel PQ dot channel dot channel dot consume Q dot name false comma false false comma false comma nil handle dot handle error error comma cannot register and you we can say stop chan make chan move it's whether it's true or false so make chan walk or def our consumer is ready PID since it's a number OS dot get P for D arrange message channel so log or print F receive the message D dot mod add a task for not add task dot unmarshal d dot body comma add task if error not equals to nil means a log dot 
printf error in j decoding j decoding j comma error no printf result of d is at task comma at task comma add task number one plus add task number two if error d dot false not equals to log not print f error message comma error else log a message acknowledge message stop chat okay now let's see the producer part part and we would need to establish the connection so let's copy this it would remain same Let, let's copy this part to the producer plan q remains same so we have copied the same thing now let's have the random number time dot now nano we are creating a random number add task go for dot rapid add task number one in a random so the random number between nine 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 we have body body comma error so we'll have jason marshall add task error not equals to handle error error and coding this so we are creating two random number and an instance and then we are encoding into json ready to publish to the exchange server error equals to q channel dot publish q dot name false QP dot publishing will have a delivery mode AMPQ dot persistent and content type that is we'll have a text slash plain and body body will be body if error not equals to error in publishing message log dot factor add task comma task number one comma add task number two okay run this uh prior to that okay it's mq channel and it's q declare and it's false okay and i think i would have made the same mistake in consumer so let's copy this yep so let's change this to and it's ampq okay and okay, result D. yeah we would need to add both right so yeah so let's now let's run this let's open a new powershell go run go run producer dot go let's run the producer first okay and uh, let's run the consumer perfect so we have our consumer ready pid received a message if the exchange name is empty rabbit mq directly delivers the message to the queue and passed as a queue name very simple example of using rabbit mq with go to create a very simple work queue system and if you like my videos do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching